I'm very excited about uh, this, this project. We are, uh, for the first time in the UK, using the air crane helicopter to fly in the, the composite uh, pole structures that will be holding up the 132 kV overhead line between Dornell substation and Black Hillock substation. Our proposal was a twin trident wood pole solution to, to make that connection. However, the local community um, had expressed their concerns with that and the impact that that would have on them. We looked at alternatives uh, and how we could innovate, do things differently to address the local community's concerns and we came up with the composite pole uh, solutions. The benefits of using composite poles uh, compared to an equivalent uh, trident wood pole method is that there's, there's less structures uh, than traditional wood poles because you can put both circuits on uh, the single structure. So the land and visual impact is a lot less than traditional wood pole. It doesn't have the stigma that surrounds uh, steel lattice towers. From an environmental sustainability perspective, traditional methods typically last for 40 years. Composite poles are better because we expect the lifespan to be between 80 and 120 years. The aircraft will lift the structure up, fly it to where a crew will be waiting to guide it into the foundations. Once it's been secured in place, it will fly off and pick up another structure and start that process again. The benefits of using the Ericsson air crane is that instead of using traditional methods which could take months to do, we're able to install all of the structures within a few days. Mm -hmm.